So I'm here at the Leica booth where they just released the S3. This is an update to the S2, which was about 10 years ago. So we're looking at an updated sensor, 64 megapixels, 4K video, which is the full sensor, no crop. That means you're getting the full resolution out of this camera. On top of that, you still have the amazing Leica sleek design. It is pretty much the same features as the S2, about three frames per second. Um, it has a bit of weight to it, which is great because if you're shooting 64 megapixels, you're gonna show camera shake up really, uh, really easily if it was a lighter body. A lot of heft, but look at that minimal design, four buttons total, and we're talking about a 3 8 and a quarter 20 mount on the bottom, not to mention all the ports you need on the side. This is a really great beast of a camera. Um, it, the S2 is due for an update. This seems like a pretty great uh, addition to the Leica line, 64 megapixels, medium format, amazing. So I'm here at the Interfit booth with my buddy Steven over here. I haven't seen you in a while. It's, uh, yeah, Photo Plus. About a year, yeah. basically. Uh, you guys have been known for very affordable, very dependable lighting. Uh, and you've had the 100 Badger out for a while, but this is the new version of it, which is battery powered. Correct. So tell me. So this is the new Badger Unleashed. Uh, it's an answer to customers' questions or, or customers' uh, requests. They're looking for a light that had the specifications of the S1, the high speed sync TTL battery, uh, but in a form factor similar to the honey badger. Right. So this is uh, 250 watt seconds, and again, the same high speed sync, the same TTL that our customers love with that. And but I mean, look how yeah, compact it is. It's crazy. This is, you, and you're in a bag. You yeah. know I mean, it's it's insane. Plus, uh, it's it's very affordable. We're talking about around a price for what? Three fifty. On top of which, these batteries are almost nothing to deal with. Plug and play, go. You can shoot on the beach anywhere you need. No worries, no problems. And same remote system? Same remote system. Awesome, how could you lose, right? Yeah. So what are we sacrificing here? Just a little bit of power? You you lose one stop of power. This is 320, this one goes on to 250. If you're used to using the S1, it'd be like using the S1 at 9.0. Okay. Which is one stop under full power. Yeah, so there's a 500 watt second light, there's yeah. a 250 watt second, so you're dropping a stop. Exactly. Uh, then, color, you were telling me it's got improved color on the bulb, right? Yes, is there, since this is an IGBT flash, it's uh, plus or minus 100 degrees. That's incredible accuracy for the price point you're at. That's insane. Man, I'm also, I just want to point out, awesome vent right here. Because <laughs> we, we were told there's no fan in this. No. So this is your vent, which is just a nice angry honey badger, which who doesn't like style, right? Dude, I'm, I'm always watching your company. You know, I'm a big fan of your stands. Yeah, yeah. So uh, thank you so much. We'll be watching this one. And uh, pre-orders now? Pre-orders are available now. Uh, shipping first or second week in November. Awesome. Check it out, guys. So I'm here in the Last Light booth with Mark Langley, and I'm a huge fan of Last Light. Their tri-grip system has always been in every kit I have, but you guys told me you just updated this, which I can't believe. We have, yeah. We've, we've, we've come out with the product, because tri-grip's a great product, it folds down nicely, but sometimes photographers want to get it in their camera bag, because they're traveling light. They might be on a motorbike, they might be in an airplane. Um, so the challenge was, can you make a, a reflector this size fold down much smaller? Okay. So we've been working on it for a long time, many years actually, but we've now come up with a solution. This is the new um, Last Light by Manfrotto Halo Compact Reflector. Packs down really small, you can clip it on a belt or it can go in your camera bag and it's always in the camera bag. It's always this alone. with you. This is great. The handle alone took up a lot of space in my bag, so I always have to be like, do I really need it? Do I got to bring it? Exactly. And I always try to find a way to make it happen. Now exactly. I don't even question it, right? Now you just leave it in your bag, it's always with you. So let me show you how it comes together. This is the fun part. So open out the bag. Got the cover and then the handle. So this all Jeez. nicely clips together. Oh, one more there. There you one, go. Two, That's three. the frame. Now we need to clip on the cover. Really simple. So this this one we're showing here is a is a silver white. So it's standard uh, standard uh, colours that a photographer every photographer needs. So just clip that on. So just the gaining and portability alone means you never have to question if you want it, but you always have the option and the ability of having a reflector, diffuser, balance. You can balance uh, ambient light. You can use this to, to uh, modify your speed lights on a fly. And the rigidity is insane. So you have this crazy rigidity, easily half the weight, not even Super kidding. Light. We're Super talking light. about 33 inches in diameter against this, which was already losing some surface area. But we're talking about half the weight, same rigidity, and a quarter of the space in your bag. Correct. And? Oh, the well, quarter, well, quarter well, 20. 
so you can just mount it however you want. It's an easy grip, which means that I can use a super clamp really easily if I had to. I can exactly. use any type of clamp system really, but this, there's no question. Yep. Yep. Unbelievable, great job. Yep. Long time coming, huh? We got there in the end. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, Mark, thank you so much. Take care, thank you. Oh my God, this is so sick.